Greetings and salutations, friends. How's everybody doing today? Let's see. I do need to remember turning on the video game sound again, as for reasons unknown, it does turn it off every time I start the game. Why? It's a great question. It's a fantastic question, actually. One that I have no answer to. No answer to whatsoever. Much like I have uh, no answer to why you'll have to wait for a proper video until tomorrow. Except uh, things always take more time than you think they do now. God. There's not enough hours in the day half the time. We require longer work days, everyone. Longer work weeks. I propose that a week from now on should be uh, well, twice as long. Yes, I think so. I believe it will do minimum damage to the average uh, <laughs> to the, the average civilian. <laughs> hey, it'll do less damage than the um, four-day work week that they tried in England for a little bit. That was mildly disastrous, actually. As it turns out, that civilized society with all of its gears Paris and wheels and other Fire dumb little doodads <laughs> can't really exist on the bare minimum of labor, weirdly enough. Strangely enough, indeed. Well, Hulsenator, sad no D&D &D this week. More sad because that probably means Ranks has some real shit to deal with. Yep, in all due likelihood, yes. Which is most unfortunate. We should probably be back to it the week thereafter, though, so... Sound! Ah, Nito Cheeto. Maybe the Earth orbits slower and we all win? Ah, uh, maybe, maybe. But then we would still need to... Uh, move faster to make up for it? Who knows, even at that point. Also, we do have... Uh, I, need, I need to shield this a little bit too, don't I? Oh, that's not how you do that. That's how you do that. We have shirts! Proper shirts on sale now as well. Gatekeeping shirts. Which does make a certain degree of sense, considering our current uh, day political predicament. Particularly considering the female custodies thing, which is the big video I'm working on for tomorrow. The why everything is political now video, because, uh, well... <coughs> I start coughing randomly. I do suppose the progressives are right, in a way, when they say everything is political. And that there needs to simply be responded to with the statement that yes, everything is indeed political... And that is why we have elected to tell your politics specifically to please, please go away in the most mean and uncharitable terms imaginable. I'll pin the shirt links in the description as well. And uh, <coughs> after I finish coughing, apparently, we shall move on with things. Oh, actually, you know, maybe here's an idea. Maybe I'll make that a little, little smaller. Yes, that might be a intelligent idea. As I was about to just leave it up there and be like, hmm. <clears throat> I wonder why you can't see anything. Leave it up there for a little bit, not for too long. <coughs> I feel like there's too many UI elements on screen. <coughs> What's wrong with me? Did I swallow another bug? I probably did. Right, Ost Usti Teal, finally, the city I've been ordered to capture, I think, 15 odd times at this point. Don't let them we'll actually further. get to try and take it now, with an actual army. <coughs> God, I'm dying, apparently. I don't know why. It's Finally, all of the snow has melted. Oh, that's a nice little tree trunk. You'd think, if anything, I'd be alive now, but no, no, you'd be thinking correctly. 
Minas Tirith Fountain Guard is a plenty of archers, although they are of dubious and varying quality. A little bit of artillery and even some cavalry. An actual army. God, I'd almost given up on having one. Speaking of army, considering my deployment on the map, I have a sneaking suspicion that I might have enemies directly on my flank the moment we start up here, so... Let's potentially prepare for that with the Citadel Guard and the uh, Wardens of the White Tower. That would be most likely to pop up. Probably here? If I was to guess. And the other enemy probably somewhere over yonder, presumably. Okay. Alright. Catapult, trebuchet, fountain guard, and archers. The enemy ah, have brought yep. up more. There men. we go. Hello there. Right. Well, if that's going to be how it's going to be, and dudes, um, cavalry, eh? I mean, there's probably going to be a lot of cavalry in my future. I have a sneaking suspicion. Let's... Let's see... If the Total War AI is as retarded as I remember. Double time, me lads. Double time. Let's see if the Wardens of the White Tower are as good as their stats suggest. Ooh. Uh, don't shoot just yet. No, you're not shooting either? Oh, yes, you are. You're not. Good, okay. As I'm not entirely sure what you'll hit if you start shooting now. Are you ranged? Nomad horseman. I don't think so. Variag nobles, right? We'll toss the Gondor spearmen into those directly. Set up some lances to potentially interfere. If we continue like this, we will smash them. Ow! Even up against straight up. So, what are you? Are you ranged? I don't think so. Okay. Well, everybody, shoot that and make them be sad. No, 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 no. Fully, 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 fully go through. Thank you. Oh, boy. Those nobles are absolute monsters, aren't they? Uh, Variag Swordsman. I mean, if you're just gonna... If you're just gonna stand there... The battle is very much in our favor. Victory will be ours. Nice. Oh, there we go. Alright, push into them. Kill, the kill, kill. Badly bloodied. They have lost half their men. Commandos. The enemy army flees the field. Pursue and run. Our men have captured well, the enemy. There goes the general. general. One of them at least. Well and make it so he can see us defeat the rest of his army. Very nice. Well, that was only him, so you know, it doesn't really matter as much. Heresy but... is the question. Fire is the answer. Squires. Squires. <laughs> okay. Surely that must have done some pretty serious damage. Go, uh, interesting. I don't know how the hell those Variag bowmen are somehow keeping contact with me through my, you know, army of infantry, etc. But apparently they are, which is impressive in and of itself, no doubt, no doubt. Let's see, uh... Okay, Noble Missile Cavalry, there's only two of them left, smash into those. Okay, 
these guys are advancing. Uh, are they in range? They are not just yet, but they will be soon, all right? I would rather not give them the advantage of the hill, so spread out the fountain guards. Spread out the archers. Load the cows. I know that might seem silly, but trust me, cows are actually amazing ammunition in this game. Move that forward just a pinch. Two enemy cavalry dudes have killed like 10 of my lances, some fucking how. Alright, get in the anti cavalry knights to try and deal with the monsters that remain. Not in range yet. Okay, have we dealt with this? Surely. Surely we gotta be getting pretty close by now. Did you. Jesus! Alright, I guess these two guys will happily take on my whole army if given the opportunity to do so. Right, okay, they're done. Beautiful. Double time it. Defensive. I am surprised by my relative lack of range. Um... Oh god, okay, you can't actually sp No, you can. Sort of. Are you splitting? You are splitting. Oh, good, perfect, okay. Perfect, that's a word. Okay, spread out. Are you dead yet? You are. Those, those two guys are literally like, yeah, no, we can take on pretty much your whole army. Uh, we don't see any, any particular reason why we shouldn't be able to kill like 30 men. Okay. And get in the heavy cavalry there. Right. Okay, let's get front Ryan pushed up a little bit. Separate them out from the archers. And Good get a cow flag. The there we go, favor. finally. Victory will be ours. Ah, of course. A fucking course. Ah. Oh. Of course that shot was unbelievably short. Uh, in fact, yep, you are a bigger danger to me than you are to the enemy right now. Never mind. Keep moving. Hmm. This is sort of a terrible position to be deployed in for the artillery, so I can't really hit them, annoyingly enough. Uh, could you maybe... Could you maybe, uh, deploy your spears or something? Thank you. All idiots. If we continue uh, like being this, distracted we by their the little flanking force has been an annoyance, no doubt about it. The fountain guards will hold fairly well in the front there, even if the Blackroot archers will take more damage than I would like for them to. Let's get those disengaged. The fountain guards will hold up just fine in the middle. The Wind Riders too should not prove too much of a difficulty. Good boys, get disengaged. And now the Cataphracts are stuck in combat with the cavalry. Lovely. Toss the heavy knights into the rear of those Variags right there. I'd love to shoot the artillery at that war, those warlord cataphracts as well, but... Are you still... Is there anything still back here, or are they all dead? I think they're all dead. Brilliant. 
Okay, I'd prefer to chase these down. I don't know if that's possible, but we'll try. I don't really want to attack or anything here. Not immediately, anyways. Okay, well, we can get those. Good. Well, sort of. Come on, boys. You gotta be able to draw ride faster than that and heavy armored knights, surely. Alright, advance the pikeman phalanx. Ah, uh, wind riders. Okay. This seems retarded to back off two squads of cavalry from one, but as we have seen on ample circumstances already, the Khand cavalry are uh, what can charitably be described as unfathomably overtuned, as can be seen in their ability to turn on a fucking dime as well. Okay, I'll throw them in there now then. The enemy are badly bloodied. They have lost half their men. They have. Personally, I'm just amazed by their ability to actually have lost more, not more than half their men. Right, let's go get rid of the cavalry. Okay, move up the arches. Alright, everything's going reasonably well. I'm not too displeased by this course of events. Would have been a like to have been able to catch those horsemen a little earlier, but... So they're mobile fucking ballistas are as horrifying as ever. I think you've been doing enough running. I think you're gonna get caught now. Everyone else, simply line up and pelt the ever-living shit out of that unit. Let's see how well they can stand up to about, you know, what? One, two, three, four, seven odd hundred elite archers? I feel like that should do some pretty serious damage. Fifteen? Yeah, I think so. Yeah, there you go. There you go. When you start getting a few hundred rangers up and running, suddenly that Varyag range advantage becomes not quite so impressive. Yep. Get the leader too, please. I'd rather not have any generals escaping me, if at all possible. Come on, don't fucking, don't fu I, I see what you're trying to do, video game. Don't, do not, do not do the whole stopping thing. I see you're trying to slow down to let him escape. I see you're trying, video game. No, move order. There you go. Never trust the uh, the attack command when it comes to chasing somebody down. It's it doesn't work, and it doesn't work pretty much by design. This is a clear victory. Three hundred men, I'll take it. Right, what did I miss in the meantime? Marco Polo, have you seen Major Kill video about female custodians? Any thoughts? <laughs> no, I have not. 
Uh, see, Major Kill is one individual that I genuinely dislike on the internet. Because he was one of the people who I asked, like, hey, would you like to come on my show? I'm, I'm doing this thing specifically to, you know, show off uh, new creators on the internet. And he said yes, like, yeah, that would be amazing, that's really cool. And he came on, and acting all friendly. And then he turns out to be the snake in the grass. Gone from these lands. As afterwards, he's done pretty much absolutely nothing but try to find ways to attack me. It's just the kind of individual I really don't particularly value, so I haven't seen it. I presume it's retarded, <laughs> frankly. I have seen, see, okay. One of the things I'm going to be addressing in the next video uh, about the everything is political point, right? Is the fact that there are a lot of people I see around that go, oh, you know, don't care about Ready female custodies. Weapons. It's not a big deal. It's not a problem. What's wrong with you? Order. These people are just as bad as the people who are actually oh, pushing this nonsense in the first place because see here's the thing Never shall they return. we know that female custodies isn't theoretically a problem you know in a neutral world where we have neutral institutions and nothing is done for external reasons then female custodies would be a shrug your shoulders and go like well that's weird but i guess okay kind of thing but we're not in that world. Can I just uh, walk in war. there? Victory I can! Yeah, name, nice. My lord. Right, I'm probably going to need a few more people than that. Lord. In fact, I do have a prepared army to just yes. squeeze in there. Awaiting your command. We live in a world where we know for an absolute unquestioned fact that there are expressly political later. forces who are involved, well, involved yes. in this. And who are involved in this for expressly political goals. They've told us again and again and again and again. Like the video I keep bringing up as a beautiful example of this, where they simply say they don't care about female space marines, they care about power and influence within the setting. And thus to go, oh, it's not a big deal, is just to say, oh, I don't care if they've already taken over. It's fine, I didn't care about that piece they took over. Okay, you're retarded. They'll eventually come for all of it, you moron. So do you think that the terminally online, always turned on political crowd will go like, Oh hey, we've, we've taken over your setting. Um, we'll, we'll, leave, we'll leave your bit alone though, because you were such a good collaborator. Of course not. <laughs> Man. I don't know if it's wishful thinking or simple ignorance. Ah, that or malice, I suppose. One should always consider malice as a very potential explanation for this. Because frankly, this has been going on for like 10 years now. If you are still somehow ignorant of the motivations of the people that are in opposition here, I mean, I don't know what to say. You're, you're either actually genuinely brain damaged or malicious. Some basic pattern pattern recognition should be fairly fairly simple at that point, right? Uh, maybe I'm being over optimistic, but after ten years of the same thing, you'd think the writing on the wall, now painted in ten foot tall block letters, would be relatively unavoidable, really. Very happy with the wounds of the White Tower, by the way. They they performed exceptionally. I'll put you on four. Right. You're going to set up over there, are you? Uh, okay, are you going to come towards me? You are. Interesting. Well, load the cows, put that to fire at will, pop, pop in the fire ammunition, and uh, let's have you spread out. And you form the front line over there. Get the archers behind them. As if the enemy is going to shoot at something, I would rather it be the Fountain Guard. Because the Fountain Guard really aren't going to be giving a shit if they're being shot at. They they actually genuinely and ironically seem to not really care about enemy arrows. Which is an ability I am quite fond of. Right. You're probably going to start flanking me, aren't you, you little shitty shits? Anti-cavalry over there. Charge cavalry here. 
I'll scoot you pinch closer. Raining Tanner, does the purple stateswoman endorse female custodies? I don't know. I imagine he might have the same kind of idiot to take where he's like, it's not that important. Actually, no. I'm being mean to Dev. I'm, I'm pretty sure Dev understands the, uh, the underlying principle. Because Dev, Dev obviously is fully aware of the Gramscian ideas that are at play here. In fact, Dev did a very good video on Gramsci, actually, that I quite appreciated. Good boy. Damn, a cow has a really short range, doesn't it? Okay, put the cow right about on the step archers there. Please don't dunk the cow on top of my front line as you did last time. I, I don't like you when you're doing that. That's better. Okay. Uh, okay. I need to not do the cow until the enemy's a bit closer, I'm starting to think, because it's dumping the cow way too close. So the cow is basically a debuff, and a big debuff too. The cow is an amazing weapon. And not a lot of people tend to know what the cow does. The, the cow delivers a very significant debuff. How on God's fucking good Jesus loving earth did you manage to... Like, I'm just gonna dunk the shot right there. Oh, right there. How on earth? How can you be that inaccurate? Unironically, how? Right, and then begins the shooting war. Now, the debuff in and of itself isn't actually that massive, but what's important about the debuff is that it hits, like, every single stat. Like, all of them. Their defense, their morale, their stamina, everything. And so whilst the individual point debuff, debuff ain't that bad, when it affects literally everything, it gets that bad really, really quickly. Windriders. They did elect to pick on the Wardens of the White Tower, which is a pinch unfortunate, as they of course don't actually have a, uh, spears. Ooh, one enemy general down already. I'll take it. Right. It looks like you're going to be more or less ignoring the right-hand flank. Very well. Allow me to take advantage of that. Right, now you two need to stop shooting, because now you're beginning to engage my dudes, and I'd rather you didn't. Let's try whatever possible to keep the friendly fire incidents to a relative minimum, shall we? If we continue like this, we will smash the enemy. Okay, hit the Variag lances in the rear. Oh wait, are you gonna... you are, aren't you? Back off for a little bit. Let's see. Oh boy. You really do like just flanking real far, don't you? Okay. Okay. Let's see if we can bring you around. Whilst trying to keep an eye out on that too. Double time it around. Can you hit them from the rear? Good, good. Turn and re engage. Ah, oh boy, they're breaking off a lot of stuff. Oh, wind riders. Wind riders are so unbelievably good. I'm thinking maybe the best thing might actually be to just remain in formation until the enemy has been basically destroyed. 
as the enemy is really, really good at always breaking off just enough cavalry to become a nuisance. I will say they have made the AI much, much better in terms of being able to just like multi-manage all of its cavalry. Which makes them very dangerous and frustrating to fight against, no doubt. Right, gotta break you off because you will be absolutely destroyed. can't really break you off, even though I really, really want to. Yeah, man, Lee, going going anywhere out of formation is just a death sentence the against the unbelievable combat power of the Varaya cavalry. I mean, fuck, they almost overrun spearmen straight up. Oh, come on. I thought I'd put you somewhere a bit safer. Apparently not. Let's get you behind the lines. Uh, these guys might actually already be dead. They're also a lot faster than me. Okay. Get them in back there. Right, at least now they're captured. Ooh, they are going hard for the cavalry, huh? Okay, did you fight off your enemies? More or less. The fountain guards, at least, are holding out very well. Which is good to see. And the archers are clearing out the stuff in front. Literally seven dudes are running around behind my lines. Okay, try to deal with those guys. And you're all archers. I mean, you should have a pretty easy time dealing with that stuff. Well, if you want to escape that way, I guess I don't necessarily mind. Alright. Not a lot of stuff left. I wonder what my rangers are shooting at, because I really would have expected them to have done a lot more damage to these guys. I hope they haven't been shooting at the enemy melee infantry this whole time. I'd, uh, I'd expect them not to. But you never know. They might be that idiotic. It might be. God, my cavalry's eradicated pretty much. Well, that's one more army destroyed, if nothing else. Don't bother with pursuing. I'll run out of ammunition eventually. Then I can kill them. Shift the cavalry over to the right flank. Alright. Everybody's focused in on the... Riders. Maybe I'll run out of ammunition before they do. That would be tragic. Enemy general lies dead. One more. Right. Surely that's got to be just about all of them. If we continue like yes, this, looks we will like smash it. the enemy. The enemy army flees the field. Pursue and run them down. I 
will try a video game, even though I suspect they're probably faster than me. Oh boy. See, I brought some cavalry thinking that uh, their mobility would be useful, but oh boy, no. If anything, I feel like the cavalry might actually be a uh, be a hampering against the Varayek, because it makes you think that you might be able to maneuver, and you cannot. You cannot maneuver against the Varayek. There is a... Uh, Maneuvering is not an option against these guys because they will just absolutely destroy your heaviest cavalry like it's nothing. This is a clear victory. Because they barely dented the infantry, but they practically eradicated the cavalry. Subject Noble. So, Sony is producing a live-action One Punch Man movie with the writers of Rick and Morty and the director of Fast and Furious. Also by Metro Exodus. <laughs> Excuse me, what now? Writers of Rick and Morty and the director of Fast and Furious. We have vanquished the enemy! That doesn't sound like a very good idea, if I'm to be entirely honest with you. Protect the blood of Numenor. Like, first and foremost, a One Punch Man movie. You know, I, I'm not I'm not actually entirely Captain opposed to the God, idea. Alright? I'm not. Because the the, 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 the the One Piece movie proved that if you do go about this very, very, very carefully, then actually you can make decent live action adaptations of things. If, again, you go about it very, very, very carefully. By your command. But those don't sound like the people I'd right. probably trust to do so. Um, hmm. We can go no further maybe, today. uh, maybe I'm simply ignorant of their many, uh, the other achievements in the film, fields of entertainment. I March hope so. Because that, that sounds like a very poorly matched, uh much setup, but hey, what do I know? They they might be great directors for all I know. Uh, not really, they could be. It's entirely possible. My lord. Alright, you guys are finally coming back down, and Ostil is now under command, though public order is probably going to be a problem for quite some time. Let's get a library in there ASAP, and we'll see how much stuff we can shove in there to occupy it. In the meantime, Awaiting your will, my lord. Definitely could use more archers, but I feel like the basic archers are just kind of useless. Because of their dreadful accuracy, so I kind of don't want to recruit them. Speaking of, is there anything in here I should destroy? Um, Mason's Guildhouse, Way Station, Shipwright, Mining Network... Hall of the Brotherhood, blacksmith, superior leather, sure. Sheep farm, horse breeders guild, of course. Okay, now it doesn't look like there's anything here that gives like purely southern influence or something, so that's fine. Uh, Jonathan Smith, Arch, in the era of AI, do you think it would be okay to purchase someone's likeness of their voice for a project instead of paying for the lights? Well, uh, it will depend on the person in question. If the person in question sells their rights to an AI or creates an AI of themselves, then yeah, there's, there's no problem with it. Um, now, this could be absolutely abused, definitely, and it could be devastating for the industry. I imagine, for example, let's say that Mark Hamill decided to give his AI rights to a company, right? So they get the rights to use his likeness, all of his likenesses from young young Skywalker to, you know, current year, uh, to use his voice and to... Oh, but I'll take you. Uh, to use everything that is Mark Hamill, right? To use his likeness on posters, to... Um, to, to market it like it's Mark Hamill, yeah, he's back, etc. All of that, right? If that were to happen, why the fuck would anyone ever hire anyone else again? Yeah, you know? uh, this is like in isolation, sure. But if you are able to get like the best actors, the most famous actors, god damn, that's expensive. 
that ever lived to appear in your thing forever. It is, it's it's going to be difficult, isn't it, to be like, oh, yeah, but uh, we'd rather have this this new fresh-faced guy who nobody's ever heard of. But why would you do that? See, uh, that that could be a genuine concern. That could be a genuine, real, unironic problem. Onward! I'm gonna stick you. Oh, I'm great beasts, eh? I don't like great beasts. Actually, I'm gonna stick you. Have a taste of my blade. Maintain order. I wonder if they'd be dumb I'm enough to attack me. You. Kinda hope they are. Kinda hope they are. I will not waste words on you. I it could be. Well, wait. In battle. I respect you, can, you in battle. How can you move past I my army, Stone of Control? I much honor in defeating you. I respect Do the Southerners just have like a rule or something that says that they they don't command. need to Your abide by the rules of As you the zones of control or something? I sure just kind of look like yes. it. Let's get we'll you up there. Orders, my lord. Um. Put you in Lin here, yes, and you Fire guys, you guys look like an occupation <laughs> army. Probably for Therithros, if I was to guess. Let's Orders. just put you in Lin here yes. for now. Captain of Gondor. How far can you move? Oh, I can still catch you if you decide to move past me, so... I wonder if this is like a... I respect you in battle. Is this a crossing, I wonder? Because if this was to be a bridge battle, that would be really good for me. That would be amazing for me, actually. My it would Lord. do serious damage to, like, fu As the future wish. of acting we and future actors. A lot of damage to acting and future actors. No, no real doubt in my opinion about that. No real doubt about my opinion about that. That was an interesting way for me to put it. No real doubt in my mind about that. Right. You two, command. I'll use you as we'll Garrison. You, here. I want as up. You wish. Hello. I will only address you in battle. Yeah, Jesus. I feel like I'm going to need a lot more Garrison forces up here sooner rather than later. Yes. With a lot more I armor will. as well. We can go no further. Ships ready. Right, you're fully restored. Yes, Where's sir. the rest of my navy? Are you, are you my navy? You are my navy. Are you my enemy? You are my enemy. You are my very arch enemy. And Perhaps you could die? No. Well, I try. We are victorious. Ships breaking, ships ready. Preparing to board and That's, engage the enemy. It's really hard to sink enemy That's ships. Right, engaging the enemy fleet. There we go. Finally, something sunk. We are victorious. There will be... I will not waste words on you. Yes, sir. I will Finally, not something waste sank. Ships ready. You are going to retrain those. That's going to be quite necessary. Right, Usti Heal. Um, you've got a pretty solid garrison now, so I'm presuming you'll be able to fight off anything that tries to molest you in the short term, at least. Protect the blood of Numenor. Um, if, and if anything, I'm more worried about my side over here. It's a, it's a lot of yellow just coming barreling down towards you, me, isn't there? Maintain order. How do the... Oh, there's a ford over there, too? Oh, God. Of course there'd be a ford over there, too. Why wouldn't there be? Be gone. Maintain all. Come and get me. Okay, well, you're not going to take over that settlement by yourself, I don't think. Be gone. As you wish. Catapult maker? Yes. I think we're going to need one. <laughs> well, I've got the money now to probably mobilize another army and send it heading towards them, so that is what I'm going to do. As a... Uh, Approaching quietly. Uh, okay. you Hornburg's not looking great either. Approaching I'm soon going to have Isengard on my northern border. Brilliant! Brilliant indeed. Fantastic, in fact. Jonathan Smith, Discord location. This, two, and five, Kenshi. Uh, Discord location? 
Discord location. Oh, it's fine for Kenshi. Okay, I will add that to it. Heresy is the question. Fire is the answer. <laughs> I hope minimizing the game in the middle of the turn isn't gonna really roger it. Marco Polo, I watched the video that Mage Guild made, TLDR, it's okay since they are the best of the best of women, so it's rare and cause money, mommy, dummy, custodies, not joking. Ah, so it's the, well, you know, I'm a bit of a coomer and uh, I like big women and therefore it's okay, take. See, <laughs> I'm not even unsympathetic, big dummy mommies are cool, I like them too, but again, this is the retardation that I just talked about, right? I was like, oh, well, you know, it's it's just this little thing. It's it's just this little thing. I'm, they won't go any further. Of course not. They, they've got what they asked for now. They'll stop there. Yeah, yeah. This is a part of the law that I don't care about. They won't come for anything else. Again, either A, if you're saying this, you haven't been paying attention for the last little 10 like years, city. or you're just dumb. I, I don't know any other way to put it. Like, it makes you stupid if you haven't been able to determine the pattern after a decade. Simple as. Oh, two ballistas. Now that, I think, is going to become rather tasty, actually. Uh, Adam Attackman, the ponies of Equestria ride to Gondor's aid. I... Wow, I imagine they'd be really confused if they saw that. I want... Could I... Ooh, I kind of want to, because that would be perfect, but... You know, they they probably can. Yeah, no, no, no. If I put them fur further enough back, I think I, I think I can lob over the ballistas, don't you? I think so. I, I believe this will work. I believe I can fly. Then again, a few divisions of ponies in full battle armor wielding magic would be a pretty effective way of countering the Nazgul, if nothing else, I suppose. All right, me pike boys. Oh, you might do gay shit and try to shoot me out. Let's deploy a little further back to begin with, just in case they try the whole, like, I brought five million archers, I think I can outshoot you, thing. Because they can't, but they might. No, you too. You gonna try anything, anything dumb? No, you're coming straight across the bridge. Good boys. Right. Get two of you over there. Oh. Don't do that, otherwise you'll be slow and gay and dumb and then you'll die. And it will not be my fault that you die. Let us prepare for this war. Units, time. Run, my lads, run, run. Units, spread out. And then we bring up the archers. Half tempted to see if I could block them completely now. Because I think I can. Let me, uh, let me give that a quick try, actually. If it goes terribly, I'll simply just, you know, reload or something. But I'm kind of thinking, with all the stuff I've got here, okay, back off, back off, if we're going to do this. Need to do it a little bit more differently. Jesus, those war chariots are tough. Holy mother of moly. Uh, they're not. Wow. How on God's good earth? Holy shit. The war chariots uh, just smashed through. A unit of pikemen, front on, with next to no damage taken. Oh my Jesus, that was, uh... 
a few billion times more than I'd ever expected. Okay. Right. War Chariots apparently good. War Chariots apparently very incredibly good. War Chariots apparently absolutely unbelievably good. But they are now quite nicely packed together. <laughs> mm, yes. You know, war chariots may be pretty fucking ridiculous, but so are my giant, great, flaming logs of doom and absolute destruction. Oh god, they're actually still pushing through somehow. Good god, I feel like I feel like this should I feel like this should have caused just absolute uncontrollable panic on their side. Oh boy, yeah. Uh, closing that does not work. Capping that, well, is not possible. They will simply mass move their way through. They're not even attacking, they're simply just walking. Ah, yes. Well, we tried capping the well. Uh, no. It, uh, it doesn't work because, uh, chariots defeat pikemen. Which, I don't know how to explain, but there you go. Service guarantee citizenship. Mr. Bob, 7370, give them an inch and they will take everything they can get their grubby bits on, and then some more. This is why we only should give them lead in abundance, can she? Absolutely. Let them have it, man! I bet the bot didn't pick that up. I'll add 10 to Kenshi. Right. Do not attempt to cap the well, but the whole shooting, the ballistas shooting over each other thing worked brilliantly, so I'm going to do that again, because that worked out very well. And allowed them to basically spear straight through everything, which was quite good. Now, if they're going to run at me immediately... That does allow me to be a little bit quicker about my deployments. So I shall be. Get into position, boys. Oh, now you're going to try and do the shooty thing, are you? Or... You know, I'm kind of okay if you want to just sit there for a little bit, because I am in range with my ballistas, so if you want to give me a few shot or... Is that... Oh, that's... Is that... What is that? Is that rain? No, those are actually... Those are arrows? Okay, Jesus. They're shooting enormous arrows at me. I didn't even recognize those, those as arrows. They were that fucking huge. Okay, well, back off from the river. Oh, yep. Need them to come over here. Come on, man. Come on, man. There you go. I'm curious to see how those chariots do now that I'm actually deployed before them. Alright, little chariots, let's see how you do against the pike wall. 
Making sure that everybody is targeting someone nice and far back. Yeah, that's more like it. Yes, that's more like what I was expecting to have happen. I mean, they're still somehow doing an incredible amount of damage and getting through as well, but less incredible amount of damage than proceeding. You're gonna rally behind me? You are. Oh, God. Really? It's like, I'm just gonna walk uh, directly through your entire unit and then uh, rally behind you. That's... I don't know if that's how that works. Not sure. I think that might be bullshit, actually. That might be tremendous bullshit, actually. Are they... Are they all breaking? They are. Uh, okay. Well, the chariots are absolutely fucking stomping the shit out of... God damn. Holy shit, chariots. I think somebody on the dev team really liked chariots. Uh, either that or simply programmed them as monstrous infantry, I suppose. They're all breaking. Ho what the fuck is going on here? There are so many of them trying to run away, I can't actually capture all of them. What on God's good earth is happening? enemy are badly bloodied they have lost half their men for the moment the fortune of battle goes our way what Let's the it remains actual such. fuck just happened right well um capture them i guess unless i try to figure out a way to deal with the great chariot beasts Apparently we've got some cavalry coming in too, sure, why not? Okay, um, just shoot at the archers, I suppose. Um, and the archers are just gonna have to try and chase people down now. It's an unusual role for, for archers, I admit, but it is absolutely a necessary one, considering the current predicament. I cannot believe the casualties the poor Gondor spearmen are taking, though. Okay, pull back the pikemen, they're valuable. Let's try and keep them as intact as possible. Archers. Did you, uh, did you capture those chariots? Are they still around somewhere? Just sit on the, uh, sit on the ballista, please. I'm presuming that's the general's unit left there. Good. Guard the casualties in these guys. In shield wall formation too, mind you. Please, shoot. Shoot them. Are you... Are you being retarded with me? Please. You are being retarded with me. Oh. And their general somehow managed to get through and get away. Sigh. All right, well, the rest of you gets to, uh, is that their general? I think that is actually their general, yes. Is there a particular reason why you won't shoot at them? Oh, there you go, finally. Our men have slain the enemy there general. he goes. Without him, his troops will lose their will to fight. I, I don't know, I feel like, considering the whole running away thing, I feel like they lost their will to fight a while preceding this, but. I get what you're saying, more or less. 
That was a weird battle. I've never seen anything quite like that before, uh, where the enemy somehow just kind of breaks en masse the moment I, that they touch me and then, you know, run screaming from the battlefield. Uh, that was unusual in the extreme. So, now on, are you gonna just sit over there? Hello. I like the fact that they were slick. This seems an inopportune tactical position you found yourselves in here, lads. You can't hit them whilst they're running anyway, so never mind. Right, well that was a weird battle. Um, there's still a unit of archers over there, and I see no real point in going over there to fetch them, other than to increase my own casualties for uh, no particular reason or rationale whatsoever. So, uh, I guess here we sit until, uh, the timer runs out. Again, this is why you always have timers on in Medieval 2. Always have timers on. Because sometimes the AI does dirt pretty damn hard. Yeah, I cannot believe the damage this unit fucking took. And in Spearwall too, god. Like, weirdly, the Territorial Guardsman took way less damage. Militia. Oh, although, you know, now, now that they're silver, too, they're actually starting to look like actual soldiers as well. On chainmail, nice big shields, relatively uniform. Yeah, they're shaping up to be something. Let's pretend that battle didn't happen. Fever dream. Uh, kinda. Jesus. Right, the bodies are stacked so fucking thick that, uh, they, they, they can't fall over. They died so thickly that some of the bodies remained standing. That's that's going to be my explanation for this. As the dead are knee deep, a thousand six hundred and fifteen prisoners. What the actual fuck? Jesus. Well, hey, uh, there you go. Uh, Rainy Tanner, did you miss my super chat? Also, is Nightmare Moon stronger than Celestia? Can she? Uh, the one about the purple stateswoman? No, I did read that. And I, I think, I think Dev understands that uh, female custodians are not a good thing. At least I would expect him to understand. That's net. Uh, I can see them on the map, I just can't actually see them. Nightmare Moon stronger than Celestia. Well, that's one of them theory-crafting questions, isn't it? Hmm. Sabistian Rosheim, Archcast. Mana Lords stream well. Uh, well, when it releases. It releases on the 26th, doesn't it? Uh, I did ask for early access, but I never received a response to my email, so I presume they don't like me. <laughs> what else is there to say? Uh, but... When the game is out, I will definitely stream it. I think it is the 26th of this month that it comes out. I think... Okay, since... Since... Theoretically, technically, kind of... Celestia did defeat Nightmare Moon once, though she did use the elements of Harmony to do so... I would think Nightmare Moon is probably is stronger than Celestia. Fire is the answer. <laughs> probably, presumably. Now, the real question is, is she stronger than Daybreaker? Hmm, now there's the question. I know too much about my point, Lorna. I, I really do. Sir, I do. I really do. A little bit too much. A little bit too much to be considered normal and natural anymore. Anime document. When I die, let it be standing, weapon in hand. Knee deep in the corpses of your friends. Oh boy. Oh god, it's worse over here. Oh, no, when you zoom in, it kind of gets better. But this uh, this was a rough day for the uh, the whatever the fuck these Viking knockoffs are supposed to be. Deep lore, real questions, indeed. I think I think Daybreaker would be stronger. I think so, because Daybreaker is, you know, just kind of batshit insane, frankly. 
Well, we're we're getting there. I could just feed men across the river to kill that last unit, but well, I have to pay for my troops. They don't, so I'd rather not. Honestly, I'd rather just just sit here and wait out the timer at six x speed, enjoying the field of death in front of me. Heresy's the question. Fire is the answer. God, I wish I could <laughs> ransom them, but I, I shouldn't. I should just kill them, because if I ransom them, I basically capture that entire army. If I ransom them, I'm literally going to set an entire army free at this point, which is probably just not actually a good idea. Hmm, no, probably not, no. There is also the fact that in one of the episodes of My Little Pony, where they carried out a little bit of time traveling nonsense, one of the worlds they ventured to was a world in which Nightmare Moon had taken over Equestria, suggesting that if little Twilight Sparkly Sparkle and her friends didn't screw her over in the actual timeline continuity, then Nightmare Moon would have beaten Celestia. So there's that. There's that too. Although there were also countless timelines where um, everyone else had taken over the world too. Presuming that presumably means that Nightmare Moon is the weakest of all the enemies. And it would get beaten by T-Rex. And uh, even the dumb little the dumb little pony with the curls. What was that one? What, what was that one? I don't remember that one. I don't remember that one. I wish I could grind them up into sausages, chat. It's a good suggestion, but unfortunately the game believes that there is some sort of rules of chivalry or something going on here. I don't know about that. It's over now. <laughs> it's over now. <laughs> it's a, it's a good, good point in the song there to be, as the time is almost done. It's, it's almost over. I still lost a third of my troops, though. God. Whatever they were shooting me me, we, me with was fucking devastating. Cozy Glow, that was the one. Thank you, chat. Cozy Glow was the weakest villain by quite some margin, in my opinion. The other ones were cool. Cozy Glow was just kind of dumb. Don't like her. And I'm attacking for another fiver. Last guy runs. Men, stop chasing. Break out lunch. What a battle, eh, Greg? Yep. Breaks out bow, fires across the river. Last unit goes down. I wish I could fire at terrain, because, uh, I mean, I know where they are. It's just that I can't really see them from here. And it'd be nice to get some more kills on my second ballista to really start leveling it up. First one is already silver two after, like, Day is over, and we two are battles, victorious. I think? 2,400. So, yes, I literally captured half of their army. Which makes it feel kind of pointless to give them parole, since they'll basically return full strength. Heresy's the question. Fire is the answer. <laughs> oh god, that's a lot of money, though. Mm, that's a lot of money, though. That's a lot of money, though. Here. Chat. There you go, chat. You decide the fate of the Viking knockoffs. Uh, Renton, you missed my soup chat about AI, Kenshi. I didn't, you little partner bastard. <laughs> I responded to that one too. It was the one about AI actors, right? Yeah, I saw that one. And yes, um, I don't think there's any ethical problems with it whatsoever to selling one's likeness or voice as AI. I don't think that's a problem at all. I do think it is going to make, again, the entertainment sphere significantly smaller because if you can hire Mark Hamill for every role, if you can hire Dwayne The Rock Johnson for every role, if you can bring back Pierce Brosnan as 007, why wouldn't you do that instead of taking the chance of somebody else? Especially as, bearing in mind, it would probably, so the, the licensing fees would probably be way lower too. 
it would unironically probably be a lot cheaper to hire Harrison Ford, the AI version, than to get some rando off the streets. And if you hired Harrison Ford, the AI version, at least you'd be guaranteed a certain degree of quality, right? So, yeah. I don't see an I don't see a moral problem, but I do see a uh, a materialistic problem. I see a logistical problem, definitely in the idea of selling people's AI voices and AI likeness. Looks like chat is not feeling particularly merciful today. Kill then eat, I see, is uh, in a fairly solid lead. Hovering around a 10% lead for kill then eat. 10%? Yep. Well, it looks like there's not going to be a whole lot of knockoff Vikings going back home today. It's too bad for the knockoff Vikings. Probably a good thing for my kingdom, though, because, um, well, I'd have to fight them all over again. At the very least, okay. You know what would be nice as well? Uh, there should be a button that is like. Uh, ransom, Surely you'd rather coin. but where you basically offer them their freedom in return for not fighting you again. Oh, hi there. Uh, well, I for some reason I can't run away, so I, I guess you fight me, but... We should disengage. The enemy shows no mercy. God, you retreat so far. Uh, th there should be an option to release on parole, basically, where you say, okay... Um, you give us money, like half of the full ransom uh, sum, for example, but in return, you promise not to fight against us. And a lot of them probably would just tell you to go screw yourself with that demand, and they'd probably still attack you. But at least then you could be like, you pay half the ransom, and half of them get like disappeared because half of them decide to actually do the honorable thing and not continue to attack you something like that that could be kind of cool come and get me you coward ah the hornberg just fell that's a little annoying tiri thithros i will not waste i mean on you. i would like to but i'm almost 98 percent sure there's too much shit in my way to do so I respect you ah, in boy. The, there will be much honor in defeat. I will I, not how the you. like? Oh I my god! They've got so you. many stacks. Just I respect you in battle. So many countless armies just stacked up down in the south somewhere. Just a million fucking armies. Right, I think I got a spy here. Uh, so there's not that much down there. Tomorrow's journey planned. Right, I'm pretty confident in these guys' ability to stand up to a siege. Maintain order. Have a taste of my blade. I'm gonna stick you. Very confident, actually, in their guys' ability to stand up to a siege. I'm not too worried about that. Yes. I see we're besieging Kerandros again. Mm, getting genuinely worried about like damned Isengard troops beginning to come down my flank though. Awaiting your command. I don't like that idea. I don't like that idea one bit. Can you retrain now? You can. Lovely. My lord, I will only address you in Captain of Gondor. So if I were to attack you right now. You'd probably have to cross the ford to get at me, Paris wouldn't you? Question. Fire is the answer. <laughs> Let's get some more Gondorian infantry. I I got this weird sneaking suspicion I'm gonna be needing it somehow. I'd never take orders from you. A fine day to ships ready. Can you not tell friends? Are you rebels? Independent navy, you are. Ships ready. Ships ready. Ships ready. 
Join up with Ships that fleet. Ready. Well, I seem to Ships have ready. Service guaranteed successfully ready. beaten up Ships most of their stuff. You. I will not waste words on you. Ships ready. Ships ready. There will be much. I, right. I can black, in black, block some of you. you. I will not waste words on you. So if you attack me here, will that be a bridge Awaiting battle? I mean, I don't think it is. I think there's just land here. It's just that the game doesn't represent it. Basically, in Ships order to ready. stop you Leaving from just fleet. blocking all there of the straits. I respect you. Breaking from there will be much more. ships ready. Leaving the I respect you. I think. Ships ready. Leaving the there will yeah, because you literally order. can't block. Ships ready. Ships ready. All of it. I respect you in but only ships some of it. There will be much honor in defeating. You. I will not wait. I will not waste words. Maintain I respect right, you. Well, I'd rather battle. defeat you piecemeal. I suppose ships so. Ready. Ships I'll ready. leave you to it. I respect you in a fine day to I kind of want you to attack me because I kind of want to know if that's a crossing or not. I will not waste words on you. I don't think it is. I'm almost sure it isn't, but mm. Speaking of, I think I should probably try to kill those great beasts. Because they might be annoying. For the white city! But El Hosnader, you started MLP as an April Fools, but the joke seems to be on you, lol. How about our ransom but maim button? Ransom but maim. I'd be very cruel, if nothing else. Very, very, very cruel, actually. Ah, oh, the sumac is so painfully slow. Because there was a long-standing tradition of uh, providing ransom. Uh, usually if the enemy was considered honorable, basically. Honorubru. Uh, if you were an honorubru enemy, then you could get ransom. And you were usually relatively sure um, to receive it. Uh, or parole as well. Uh, as... Excuse me? Oh, right. The whole dumbass stretch out the unit thing, otherwise they don't deploy properly. Uh, then the idea of parole kind of came in on top of that as well. Right, so you are going to try and kill the great beasts, so you know, line up to do that. The rest of you, just since we're not going to be worrying about archers this time, we can put you up there. And you on the flanks. Right, great beasts where? Great beats there. Never again will the land of my people fall into enemy hands. There's gonna be a fucking storm of arrows coming down this hill. Uh, why are you moving? You are in range. Don't don't move, you target. First few rocks are coming flinging in. Unfortunately, they're currently overshooting really, really, or over, yeah, no, overshooting. No, undershooting. Yeah, yeah. Undershooting is the term I was looking for. Better, but no cigar. Leading ranks of orcs are being absolutely sliced to ribbon. Actually, since they're moving slowly, let's try and pump a old cow in on them there. Right, archers. Probably actually be beneficial if you target some of their larger infantry blocks instead of you know, just their skirmishes, because that's kind of what they want you to do. Uh, 
This battle, in essence, really rests entirely on whether or not I can kill one of those great beasts with the catapults. And so far, uh, I ain't hidden shit, which is a problem. A very large problem. Right, come on, release the cows, get some debuffs going. Nicely done. And I can't hit the Great Beasts. See, that's the problem, because I'm pretty sure the Great Beasts can, by themselves, kill my entire army. Yeah, see, that's a very large problem. Let's see if I can maybe guide them away. Nope. Right, basically, this entire battle assumption relied on my ability to hit those Great Beasts with, uh... Oh, two units! Ah, oh, yeah, I'm dead. <laughs> Not a chance. Snatched... Not a chance. I know just how fucking unfathomably overpowered those things are. If I can't hit them, I die. Straight up. Not My entire army will die by one unit of those. One of them. Retreat. I have seen Let it happen. They will kill your entire army, and they will not take a single casualty whilst doing so. That's what, what, 46 defense will do? Disappointed by the catapults, though. Hmm. Maintain order. Hmm. Very disappointed by the catapults. I figured they'd be able to shoot at least one of them. Maybe. I gotta bring ballistas. But the Ballistas feel like a waste we'll against of most of the armies. Maybe the Trebuchets are the problem. Because the Trebuchets are great in their debuff. But they can't hit shit. Hmm. Awaiting your command. And there's two of them shit. Oh, I kind of have to deal with the army because if I don't, I think they're just going to kind of destroy everything. Right, let me try something a bit more circuitous. Alright, we're gonna hit them from the rear. Try and isolate the great beasts instead. Right, is there a nice hill somewhere I can perch on? Um, ooh, hello. That is indeed a nice hill for me to perch on. A little close to the enemy's front lines from my taste, but... Dumbed click, dumb but little button. Oh, no, horses too. Good place. Alright, two units of those on one flank, two of you on the other. The enemy have brought up more men. Oh, that's right. So I could have I could have been further forward if I wanted to, actually. Could have been a lot further forward if I wanted to, actually. You are in range. You you are you are aware of this fact, correct? It's a little AI. Are those the general? No, I don't think so. Just little southern human allies. Dumb and weak. Easily abused. See, the, the men of the south, the dark men, are the perfect example of the useful idiot that we've uh, we talked about earlier. The person that goes, oh, it wasn't my piece of the law that they took over this time, therefore it's fine. The perfect example 
Weak men easily affected by chaos. Who decide that uh, it's okay to give up this little piece. It's not a big deal. It's not a problem if I lose this piece. I totally won't lose any other pieces. That is actually kind of the perfect example, yes. That will be my rough position. Good boy, little trebuchet. Look at you. You're killing things now. Good. Eager southern lances. Uh, you don't have as much armor as your Varia cousin, so I expect you to disintegrate rather quickly. And yes, you did. Raining Terror, Vol 3 Sombra versus Vol 9 Portrayal. Which did you prefer? His voice in Vol 9 threw me off, so I couldn't take him seriously. I don't actually know. Oh. You're beginning to shoot a bit close there, but you, you hit, so I guess it's fine. Okay. It's a bit of a risk to put down cows here, but I'm feeling optimistic. I didn't pay all that much attention to his voice in uh, in uh, well, Volume Nine, Season Nine, I'm presuming. Or wasn't that Season Nine? Season? Yeah, Nine Seasons, right? Yeah, I think so. I didn't really pay much attention to it because I didn't remember him. He he was such a minor character. <laughs> Honestly, like he he appeared like in um I I've forgotten the season now. You told me, but I've already forgotten about it. But yeah, he appeared in that one, and where he was like not even really a villain. He was more like a like an environmental threat almost that appeared and then he he disappeared again. Ooh. Nice one, Catapult. You just earned your the fucking keep. Bloodied. They have lost half their men. Very, very, very nice one there, little Mr. Catapult. Very nice one there. Yes, that's how you do. Right, let's give them a couple more cows for the debuffs. And we'll switch over to good old-fashioned stones for their blocks of infantry. I feel like they 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 could have made a lot more of a meal out of him. Definitely a lot more of a meal out of him because he was he was a cool character. You know this super evil mystical wizard thing that existed in ancient myth and did terrible things to little ponies and apparently is like an actual existential threat to Equestria and so on. That's cool. I wish they'd um, made more of it. And then he appears again and he's just kind of like, I'm gonna go my own way. And then he immediately gets defeated, which kind of undermines all of that quite a, quite a lot actually. Quite a lot. That kind of pseudo sorta kind of defeats the entire point of the character, really. Hmm. I almost think they would have been better off if they'd kept him as um, like a very small scale antagonist, maybe, uh, and not revealed him for a while. Like they should have built him up more, way more. You know, they should have. Uh, he should have been the end of season boss, not the not the beginning of season boss. Hello, you little oh, blisters, do you? That's quite gay of you. Okay, you're probably getting a bit close for comfort. I'll let you get off one more volley, then we're gonna have to switch your target. Yep, you're, you are getting awfully close for comfort. All right, cavalry. Oh, 
Apparently my wardens, eh? Very gay. Very gay of you. Oh boy. The battle See, is very much in our favor. Now will be ours. I very much so wish I had some full force cavalry. Because they probably would be quite devastating to throw into the enemy's rear right now. Okay. Cancel all orders for a moment. Halt. Then you may begin firing at will again. Once you've found yourself something a little bit less, you know, frontline-y to shoot at. I fear... Oh yeah, they've already peeled off. The mod is very good at peeling off a lot of units to deal with your cavalry, isn't it? I will give it that. It is very good at that. It always peels off a lot of troops to counter cavalry threats. Which does make it a pinch frustrating to deal with, but cavalry is fast. Little dudes or not. Right. You can go in to deal with the Southern Warband. And you've already routed the ballistas. Good job. Very good job, Maxa. Get into the rear of Sauron's will. Whatever that is, it sounds nasty. I don't like it. Whoa! Hello there. Um, I guess you were trying to pursue the ballista, weren't you? Please don't. Please don't indeed. That be silly. That be dumb, yo. That be retarded, in fact. And I should remember to actually use the buffs. Right. You should be just about done with those guys. Yes, you are. Good boys. Did you kill all of them? Nope, but you chased them off. That's good enough for now. Okay, Fountain Guards. We're gonna have you advance on the Orc host. And we'll toss you in the enemy's rear. How are you guys doing? You are doing fine. Not too big of an issue. You're out of ammo already. That was sooner than I was perhaps hoping. Toss those in the rear. Cancel the guard order. Let's start advancing and killing. And goodbye. Brilliant. It's just 12 of you, break off, make sure the enemy doesn't get any opportunities to Only rally. Half the enemy force remains. You as well. Okay, you chase those down. You're still firing at will, aren't you? Please. Please cease. Please. Alright, that should be a battle one. Bit more casualties amongst the Fountain Guard there than I was necessarily hoping Harrison for, but question. nothing serious. <laughs> Come on. Break and let me 
chase you all down. You know you don't want to fight this. You know you want to go home. Surely you want to go home. Where are you? You are over here. Is there anything for you to chase down? Yes. Yes, there is. I am mildly amazed at these archers' ability to just kind of stand there and take that, but... Southern Warband, Southern Guard. Make sure you're chasing all of this nonsense down. Keeping it tanked, the Luka Inas Rim have been defeated. Good. The heavy cavalry is still there. Hardly surprised they are incredible. Surely you can just overrun those guys by now. The cavalry. They're, there you go, yes. They're cavalry fighting fountain guard. I feel like they should not be standing for very long. You're probably not going to catch him, but that's fine. Just keep keep on them. And we'll make sure that no orcs escape the field today. Oh, you're not routed Enemy somehow. Abandons his men. Which one? Behold how our cowardly foe runs. It's time to press the attack. I would love to know where that enemy general is. He can't be in the Moranan Guard, can he? Oh, he might. Never again will the land of my people fall into enemy hands! Right. But also later, did you see Tiffany Henriard's finance chief has been indicated for fraud facing five years? She's got quite the story if you want to laugh. I don't know. I don't, I don't know who that is. Uh, Tiffany Henriard. Tiffany Henriard. Nope, name does not ring a bell. Tiffany Henriard. Tiffany Henriard. Tiffany Henriard. Oh, is that a... Wait. Where's the... Oh, of course. Okay, well. Try to intercept him if you can. I'd be surprised if you were able to... Actually... Hold on, that. I think we have an intercept opportunity. I don't like you... There you go. Good boys. Catch and kill them. Well, try, at least. There we go. Heresy is the question. Fire is the answer. <laughs> Good boys. The enemy are utterly vanquished. Damn. 127 losses. Victory were yeah, it's, it's something else to fight against Mordor compared to the Varyag. Raining Tenor, why do you think Starlight is the best villain? Um, well, because, one, she brings up a very good point with the whole equality thing. Because equality in Equestria probably should be a fairly large concern, seeing as people's lives are essentially determined by... I don't know, God? Like, whatever entity creates their cutie marks, I suppose, kind of 
dictates the the lay and progress of their lives. Surely that's something that a lot of people, or ponies, in Equestria would have thought of before as weird? Strange? Because it would undoubtedly lead to some inequality. Yes. And more so than the inequality in and of itself, because this thing, inequality is not necessarily an issue by, its, uh, by in and of itself. It genuinely is not. It's if it's unfair or undeserved, wish, perhaps. Respect you in battle. But My lord. what happens if a pony gets a cutie mark that it doesn't like? What happens My if somebody command. else gets the cutie you mark that they would want? Lord. Wouldn't they become jealous because March of it? Wouldn't they become resentful? It's kind of like the... Uh, oh, hello there, very old man. Um, very old man, where shall I put you? So, you know, very old man, come over here. Uh, very old man, come over here. I could use another guy over here. Let us set up camp here. This place is still kind of sad. Um, school? Young quarter? That one. It's kind of the thing that they um, they tried to touch upon in Avatar. You remember the um, the the first villain, the Bloodbender guy? Well, he was kind of cool. I, I I liked the idea of him. I liked the idea of the Bloodbending powers, right? Over oh, the Bloodbending powers, but of his um, his revolution. Because he's like, okay, um, our society appears to be built upon some really weird stuff. We appear to be built upon the assumption that some people are just better than others for reasons that have nothing to do with ability or skill, but rather a fluke of birth, the uh, whole thing around the powers of benders. And so, obviously, you would expect a tremendous amount of resentment against benders within this society from the unfortunate people who just didn't get to be in the position that they wanted to be. If somebody wanted to be a police officer, for example, and that was their entire goal and dream in life, and then you get to the police academy and you're like, I'm going to be a police officer, yay! And they ask you, so, can you bend metal? And uh, it's like, no, I, no, is that a requirement? It's not a requirement, but, you know, it does make you a much more effective police officer. Yeah, I mean, we'd, pre we'd prefer to, we'd prefer it if you could bend metal. That's right, fool. That would naturally ship. cause all kinds of problems, and again, legitimate problems too. Yes, you probably would be a better police officer if you could make handcuffs just appear out of thin fucking earth. Unsurprisingly. Oh god, Minas Tirith's population is actually beginning to become a little bit of a problem. Right, um, I'm gonna need to get some, like, communal farming, uh, going here, because, boy... I've, I've recruited so many men that I'm actually beginning to depopulate Minas Tirith, which is uh, scary in its own way. Um, how are, Do I have a royal hall here or something? Meeting hall. I do not. Okay, that's unfortunate. Maintain order. Have a taste of my blade. Oh, God, you're starting to get temple knights and temple archers, are you? I feel like those units should be I'm unique units, and if you, you lose them, they should probably be gone, because um, the temple was lost a very long time ago, like a stupendously long time ago, and I kind of feel like you shouldn't blade. be allowed to keep that around anymore. I'm gonna stick you. Do I want to try and do anything else with this army here, or do I want to kind of ignore it? Honestly, I kind of want to ignore it. I'm gonna it. stick you. Because I feel like in an army with two great beasts, I feel like there's nothing I can really do except pray and hope that I'll smack one of them in the head with a rock. I want to see if I'm defending. I at least will have that advantage. You're going to run away, aren't you? You are. Have a taste of my blade. Hmm. I'm gonna stick you. Slay them. All right, let's 
Do not. Actually, hmm. No, no, Don't definitely not. No, definitely not. They're just going to kill themselves. Let's keep them out of this. And to get back to the point of Starlight. <laughs> what was I? I? I completely waffled off my point, and I've completely forgotten what my point was, and even if I had a point to begin with. Um, that's a great question. Did I have a point to begin with? That's a fantastic question. One that I would love to remember. I went off on a side tangent to provide an example. And then the side tangent kind of became the thing. There was something else, some other communist example that my brain conjured up. Which is now all but long lost. Yeah, what was it? Oh, I thought I told you to not arrive on the battlefield. Um, that is unfortunate. I was kind of hoping they would just not. Okay. Well, stretch those out as per usual, and uh, at least I'll be able to maybe concentrate a bit more fire on them. We'll see. Shoot normal rocks, please, because it makes it easier to hit. It. Oh yes, the point of equality within Equestia. There we go. I've returned to the point now. You'd think there'd be some kind of resentment, and in this case, there was resentment. But weirdly enough, it, it wasn't necessarily the resentment of others. It was the resentment of Starlight Glimmer, and her inability to get the whole friendship thing. And so she figured, okay... I'm just going to make everybody else equal, just like me, and thus I'll solve my friendship problems. An interesting idea. By essentially reducing everyone to the lowest common denominator, she was expecting to somehow get a better society. That, of course, assumption is filled with all manners of flaws and problems, though, as was explored in the show surprisingly well, too, because... It obviously had a political point, that political point being that absolute equality is not necessarily a very good thing. In fact, it could very easily be a destructive and damaging thing, which is absolutely true. But it went about it fairly elegantly, everything considered. It didn't really rub your nose in it that much, as much as to go like, okay, they are all equal, but are they happy? They probably aren't, for very good reasons. And the fact that they also managed to then redeem her over a very long period of time also was quite cool. Yeah. Sound like Glimmer Best Pony. <laughs> Such is my statement on the matter. Well, Trebuchet, let's see if you can do better this time, because uh, you really do kind of have to hit one of those little rhinoceroses there, otherwise I am in deep, deep shit. Well, I mean, you're doing better than last time. Those were significantly closer. Still not close enough, mind you. I wish there was a button that was like, concentrate on main enemy units, kind of. You know, ignore skirmishers. Ignore the tiny silly units who literally exist to try and distract you from the important stuff that's coming up behind them. That would be a good button. Also, I wish the game would actually tell me when I was in range instead of being like, Oh yeah, you're in range, except uh, no. Alright, Trebuchets, I think you've got exactly one more shot until uh, you've fucked it all up and you overshoot because you apparently think that those units are moving about a million times faster than they actually are moving. Okay, thank you. You have been completely useless to me. Oh, I don't think there's any way I can beat this army without just absolutely, utterly beyond crippling casualties. 
Because I can't even hit them. I, they, if I charge them, they just run through my unit, and that'll pretty much be it. And again, maybe the Citadel Guard will be able to do damage to them. The Citadel Guard are the best units I've got, so... I'm kind of hoping that'll count for something. In our favor. Victory will be ours. So far, uh, not really. So far, they are being absolutely fucking annihilated, and they have inflicted no damage. No casualties. Oh, there we go. Trading... Half the unit, two of them. Oh god, that was a miss. That was a really close miss too. Well, at least that chased them off, uh, except they immediately rallied, so it didn't actually chase them off either. Oh boy. I'm definitely not throwing the cavalry into them because the cavalry will just die immediately. Maybe. Hmm. They don't actually flee, do they? They only go amok. So even if I were to try to tag them with the cavalry, I don't think it would actually achieve anything. Why, little archers? Why? Please don't. Oh, God. Yeah. These, these things just cannot be dealt with. Uh, not without dedicated armies, basically. And they don't even break. Oh, that's even worse. Um, okay, try to keep them tagged. Maybe I can do damage on them whilst they flee. Right. Those have run amok. That's nice. I did lose a whole unit of spearmen, which is annoying. They were veteran spearmen, too. Oh god, my elite units were absolutely the enemy are badly fucking bloodied. slaughtered. They have lost half their men. Right. Move back, because you will not stand a chance in everlasting hell against the Lucainas Rim. He will wipe you out at full strength. Never mind when you're wounded. I'm gonna need you back there. Go for the Luka in Azrim. Okay, so the Citadel Guard can deal with them to a degree they can deal with them. Uh, that degree being that I will lose an entire unit in, in trying. Uh, if I'm lucky, I will lose an entire unit. If I'm unlucky, I will lose two entire units encountering one of them. But they can deal with them. Sort of. Okay, pull both of those back. And... I don't know if I should deal with it. I think I'm gonna have to just kind of ignore it. Right. The general is dead. That is a big deal. Toss the guard into their rear and kill them off. Ooh, very, very, very nasty casualties, including one full unit of elite or silver to silver one spearmen. Sucks. But I think that is about as few casualties as I can possibly expect to uh, kill one of those units. Yeah, better than I feared, if I'm to be entirely honest. Ready. 
already. Why will you not cease fire? Stop! Stop, Tarks! Ah, it's still running amok through my men, though. Yep, still just running around causing casualties. I hate those things. I really do hate those things. At least elephants you can kill with arrows. The enemy army flees the field. Pursue and run. This is a clear vic. Hopefully, it wasn't enough damage to wipe out the two elite units, so I can at least replenish them. Uh, the real horse later, Tiffany Henyard. I hate predictive text. She's the mayor of a town in Illinois that has done stuff lock out of the city council and allegedly tried to have her political opposition disappeared. <laughs> Full gangster shit. Okay. They are gone from these plants. Yeah, sometimes I, uh, I almost Any approve a little bit of some gangster shit, you know. I did lose the Spearman, which is... Annoying, but again, I, I suppose that is about the minimum amount of casualties I can expect from those bastards. Protect the blood of Numenor. Hum. So this army, this structure is not bad. I'm actually fairly happy with this army structure. If anything, honestly, I'm thinking maybe if I'm up against Mordor, I either need like three catapults. Or I need to go for ballistas, because I need a way to deal with big boys. Captain of Gondor. But against the Varayeg, the trebuchets are actually better because of their ability to put down those cows. Because the cows are like the one thing I have that can actually reduce the joke-worthy fucking stats of their cavalry. My lord. Awaiting your command. What's Gilead? Can you train rangers yet? No, Eastern Osgiliath. You can train rangers, nice. Captain of Gondor. And Kerendros probably can. Right, well, we took the city. That was the primary objective. We got the shit fucked out of us in doing so, but we took it. And at the end of the day, as you wish. That's all that matters. Objective achieved. By your command. Let's get you spread out so we don't eat up. As you wish. Too much upkeep, if at all possible. Ready your weapons. And we're not oh, done wait, just yet, are we? There are still battles to fight. There will be much honor in defeating you. Including this one. Awaiting I don't like you waffling around Throw behind me. Evil. We shall remember this day. Slay them. Break their will. Then again, you know, disappearing your political opponents might actually just be a normal thing now. Especially if you've been looking at Germany. There have been uh, several moves in Germany to basically just make, uh, what was the, um, AFD? Uh, alternative, alt, well, alt, what, what is the German of alternative? Al alternative? Al alternative? I think it is. It's got a very Norwegian flair to it. Uh, alternative for for Deutschland, alternative for Germany. They've been trying to actually just make that organization illegal, uh, straight up. Uh, because, of course, of the usual accusations. Oh, they're fiascists. Really? Um, remind me again, who's currently in the process of attempting to ban their opposition political party? Well, we are. Oh. And you would consider yourself the good guys in this exchange, I presume? Well, yes. Say no more, I suppose. Maybe, maybe we're just living in outdated times, eh? Maybe we should all just come to understand that you just gotta, just gotta remove all of your political opposition. Maybe this is the future. You know what? I wouldn't even necessarily be opposed anymore. The left has taught me well. If the left is telling me that my political opposition needs to disappear, then you know what? Perhaps I'm beginning to warm to the idea. Perhaps you may begin to consider me sympathetic, at least in theory, to the idea of political opposition no longer being acceptable in civilized society. I don't know. Sounds appealing to me. It would certainly save a lot of hassle and nonsense, frankly. 
fact, it would probably lead to a significantly more peaceful world in the long term. Sure, we're going to have to carry out a few political purges here and there, but... So what? What's life without a good political purge every now and then? Wasn't there also... The, um... During the, uh, I think it was, was it, was it during the George Floyd protests? Or shortly thereafter, there was also a Democrat woman who, uh, who, who said some rather interesting thing about her opinions on how to handle Republicans. Rather aggressive things. Some things that would probably land a democ- uh, democracy. Well, yes, no, a democratically elected individual pretty deep in jail, but weirdly it didn't happen there. We shall win this war. Yeah, who knows. Perhaps our opposition had a point all along. God, I, I do like the look of just a ton of catapults firing. It is beautiful, isn't it? Prepare yourself to be shot repeatedly. And aggressively. Didn't they have some troll men? Black Snake Guard. That sounds like a general's unit. Which means I think it's overdue for a couple of great balls of fire falling from the sky. Ooh, pikemen. You know what? I can have pikemen. You cannot have pikemen. I'm going to make that very clear by concentrating about 500 archers on the unit. You know... Pike units were actually not as vulnerable to arrows as one would uh, immediately think. Because you'd think like a close formation like pikes would be very vulnerable to arrows, right? Actually, historically, not necessarily true. Uh, in large part due to the density of the formation, actually, uh, amusingly enough. When you had that many, you know, giant sticks. Eh, fuck you. Lies dead. When you had that many giant sticks that closely, uh aligned together, you'd actually be intercepting a fair bit of the ammunition being thrown at you, just because, well, you know, it's difficult to get an arrow through all of those sticks. Plus, you know, the uh, formations also tended to have shields, obviously, because shields are pretty useful for defending oneself against arrows. If we continue like this, we will smash I the enemy. I don't like pikemen, and that's why I'm shooting you. I don't like camels either. Hara, ha, har, harondor mercenaries. Service guarantee. Right, you guys, take care of the filthy little camels, please. Have you just about murdered those pikemen? Yes, you have. Good boys. You may find yourself alternative targets if you so choose. Mildly surprised you fuckers haven't broken and ran yet, but you're probably on the verge. I should have had the archers slightly further back. Just like a touch, a touch further back so they could arch a bit more correctly. Okay, you are faster than those guys because cavalry, or camelry in this case, is slow. Take over chasing them. Uh, cancel the catapult bombardment. I mean, why don't I just scoosh forward now? There's no reason not to. Give myself a bit of a better line of fire. Right, what happened to the other cavalry unit? Oh, he was chasing down the cav cavalry. Okay, well, you can return. And the enemy's habit of keeping enormous quantities of reserves still frustrates my... Cavalry efforts. 
They have lost half their men. But it does present me with yet further beautiful and bountiful archer targets. Oh, poor bastards. They're literally just little desert people wearing rags. Huh. To come all this way only to be bombarded by 500 odd archers. Can you imagine? These fuckers have walked basically a distance equal to the Holy Land and to Europe. And upon finally arriving, they find just a solid wall of spearmen with massive ass tower shields standing in front of them. And 500 dudes with bows directly behind them. After which their leader, their great chief, is immediately killed by an enormous rock to the fucking face. And then, leaderless and not really understanding why they're here or what they're doing, they're just kind of stuck in the open getting ran down by cavalry as arrows hammer down on their heads unendingly Heresy is the question. Fire it's is the answer. we continue like this it's a tough life to be a haradrim spearman very tough life come on the marches there you go I think those guys are probably sufficiently... Oh, hello. Are you going to get in my way? You are! Oh, beautiful. Okay, I don't need, need to ch chase you down. Perfect. But still, even without their general, their sheer balls keep them in the fight somehow. Like, yes, there may only be five of us left, and we may be armed with pikes. Probably the single least effective individual weapon in human history, which relies 1000% on formation to be effective. But we are determined to not let that demoralize us. Behold how our cowardly foe runs. Oh no, no, it's we're not ending the battle the just yet. There's still three of you left. Let's see if you can survive the next few volleys. Lucky! Very lucky! Okay. Let me make it a little bit worse. Damn, they are tough though. I, I wish... I do wish this had the Warhammer effect of arrows sticking in the enemies. So I'm wondering just how many arrows are inside of these guys now. I'm pretty sure that guy just took one to the ankle and didn't really care. Well, that was a dramatic exit from the battle. Those two will have a pretty fucking amazing tale to tell when they get back home again. Oh. Run, Hassan! Run! Oh, yeah, it's fine. Mustafa? You know what? They probably deserve getting away after all that. Good, good for that. Be awed by the victory we Thirty-eight have won here today. dudes lost. Oh, that's pretty good. Pretty good. And Metacumen, you refer to fish-eyed black woman? <laughs> I do believe she had some rather protruding eyes, yes. Rain Terror. The left keeps teaching me how to handle things, but I can easily see the consequence of that weapon being used. For example, the Dems made it acceptable acceptable to weaponize the DOJ. Well, <laughs> The thing is, unironic. We would all be far better off if we had, you know, the, the, the gentlemen's agree agreements of yesteryears. The gentlemen's agreements of yesteryears were the better way of doing things. Where everyone simply looked at society and was like, okay, this is clearly going to turn into a big fucking problem if we start abusing this power. But at the same time, we don't want to 
ban ourselves from potentially using this power and authority if it becomes truly necessary. So what we're going to do is we're not going to make it illegal. See, for example, the term uh, limits for presidents. We are simply just instead all going to agree that we're not going to abuse this system. That was the correct way to go about this stuff. Absolutely, no doubt about it, in my opinion. But the problem with a gentleman's agreement is that it can, by definition, only exist amongst gentlemen. Ready your weapons. And, well... Protect the blood of Numenor. The progressivist has proven himself to not be a gentleman on, well, well any occasion, evil. I think, whatsoever. So, yeah. Await my orders. Oh, it was a river crossing, okay. Well, I feel relatively confident my ability to encourage the enemy to cross this river. Although, I don't like the way it slants. The way it slants will make it a bit more difficult to really you know, hammer them in there. Hmm, I don't like that slant one little bit. Let's place ourselves at a little bit of an angle as well. Service guarantees citizenship. Now then, I'm sure you are tempted to sit on your side of the uh, the divide and wait for me to cross the river, but I'm not going to cross the river. And even if you never cross the river, I am not going to cross the river. Even if all I can do here is simply fire my ballistas over the river for a while, causing what casualties I may, I will happily retreat thereafter. Oh. Yep, seeing the futility of trying to hold the river, or to hold their side of the river at the very least, they are indeed going to come over and play. How eminently predictable. Interestingly, the fire seems to go out instantaneously upon hitting the water, which might actually severely reduce the efficiency of my ballista. This could be what we call a miscalculation on my part. I suppose we're about to find out. Form into the shield walls. It, well, no, it, it doesn't disappear. It, it still goes through them. It just does so in a slightly weirder way. The battle is very much in our favor. Victory will be ours. Don't you think you can just walk through there like that? Nice one. I don't know what that was aimed at, but I'm sure it was something. Alright, Pike boys. You shall be the strategic reserves. Oh. I don't, I don't know if I like this angle very much. I really don't want to know if I like this angle very much, no. Okay, listen, I think... I think I've got an idea. An idea that doesn't actually necessarily rely on the ballistas. Hold your fire. Oh, is that the... There's the war wagons. Never mind. I mean, I feel like you're not going to have a whole lot of an impact left after, you know, using up literally all of your momentum on 
running over your own guys. And indeed you don't. Silly little ballistas. Okay. Come here. I... I have got an idea. Right, lower the pikes and begin pushing into them. And we'll just have to do good old-fashioned point-blank range ballista nonsense here, I think. There's a way to hit things, even in this circumstance, and it is simply just to be very, 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 very retardedly close. Break out for a second. Pull back, out of the way. The enemy are badly bloodied. They have lost half their men. And now... Shish kebab, please. Ballista. Mm -hmm. Do you still not want to fire? No. That. Yeah, this crossing is not that great for this. Oh well, I'll wear them down regardless, so I suppose it's fine. Still, more casualties than I would have wanted. Not the worst, not the best. Please don't let them get away, that would be silly. Hey, you. Chase those down. Thanks. The enemy army flees the field. Pursue and run them down. Yes, my liege. Maybe I should get, like, one cavalry unit. Nah, honestly, they'd... The enemy are utterly... It takes so long for them to break anyways that I feel like chasing them down would almost be pointless. There'd be, like, 30 of them left. And I'm acumen. The enigmatic dude got the name of the woman of which you speak. Maxine Waters. Ah, yes. Maxine Waters. That was the one. Entering woods and preparing to act. Ah! Right. Left hand flank. <laughs> We've destroyed them! Secure for a moment or two longer. Captain of Gondor. Even if I'm going to need some. Serious replacements. Oh, well, my lord. Emerging armies, my lord. That was a action packed turn. Orders. But an effective one. Let's see. A girl worried about Isengard. Fucking Rohan. Rohan's not a very useful ally, I'm noticing. There's still a few cities in between me and Isengard, but. I've barely started getting a counter-offensive going against the Varayeg. And I'm going to need to get one on the feet against the knockoff Vikings, sir. Sooner rather than later. Forlong the Fat is a very good name that is criminally underused in fantasy. What do you got for me today? Uh, you've got some dudes on ladders. I, uh... I don't... Oh, God, this map. I remember this map. It is difficult to deploy everything on this map. Right. Some dudes on ladders. The fruits of the loin will be more than enough to take care of that. Some dudes in the siege towers. Again, the fruits of the loin will be... 
more than enough to take care of that as well. And for once, I'm actually going to be able to have archers being able to fire mostly effectively from the walls. <gasps> Can I? Ah, I can't fit them. Whoever designed these castles really didn't think much about the, uh, the need to actually defend them at some point, did they? It's like, yes, we'll just keep a little bit of walls here. Can I? I of course I can't. I mean, this, you'd think this would be a nice place for archers, but no. I think that would be a brilliant fucking place for archers. Oh, hello there, sneaky little bastards. Hmm. I'll put these guys there. Right, and free infantry. Front of the gate. And Biggie Boy, you are going to be over here, ready to sally out with the rest of the cavalry. Good enough for government work. Uh, what are you? I think, you know, I think maybe having both swordsmen unit. No, you know what? Let's use the stupid little militias. They're cheaper anyway, so I'm probably going to get rid of them. I do love heavy infantry. Look at these guys. They do look pretty sweet, don't they? It's weird to me that no, that we haven't really ripped off the Lord of the Rings enough. Like, sure, we've ripped the shit out of it when it comes to monsters, but armor? I feel like there's a whole wealth of inspiration that we could take for armor there that hasn't necessarily been uh, exploited as fully as I would like for it to be. We shall win this well, that was quick. Um... Not that I mind, I'm perfectly happy with the enemy dying pretty much immediately. The enemy have ladders at the walls. Repel the attackers. Give them steel. Give them steel. Okay, I wish you hadn't done that there, because that's a slightly more annoying position, but... I hardly cared about those archers. Those archers are... Did you... Did you not bring a ram? You... You did not bring a ram. Now there it is. Okay. So you're just gonna kind of walk up here, feed me a couple of units, and then just stand there looking at me. If we continue like this, the enemy siege tower is. A an, an, un, an unorthodox approach, I will say. Not convinced of its validity myself. In fact, I think it sounds completely and utterly patently retarded, but that is your choice. I wish you had the Execute Prisoner button from Medieval 1. I love that button. The fact that if a battle was going against you, you could click the button and then you would just go like, No! No! And then splattering sounds. I liked the Execute Prisoner's button. They decided to remove it. I, I guess it was, uh... It wasn't chivalrous enough. Which, to be fair, it wasn't. But Executing Prisoners was something that happened, absolutely. It was, generally speaking, frowned upon quite severely to do so, but it did happen. It absolutely did happen. 
more often than not, again, when one side figured that it might actually lose the battle. Uh, that was what happened at uh, the Battle of Hastings, of course. Hastings? No. It wasn't Hastings? No, it wasn't Hastings, was it? Uh, Agincourt, that was the one. Hastings was the other one. Hastings was the, uh, Hastings was the Nor Normans, right? Yes. Wait, you can knock over ladders? I had no idea you could knock over ladders. I mean, it makes sense, I just didn't know it was possible. The Battle of Agincourt, where the uh, English received mistaken reports that the French had broken their lines and were looting their baggage trains. And so the order was given to start killing the noble captives. When it was discovered that this wasn't actually the happening, the order was of course gate. rescinded, but by then a fair bit of the French nobility were already dead. Incidentally, the disaster for the French army, uh, French nobility, the French cavalry in especial at Agincourt, honestly had more to do with mud than it did arrows. You guys go down there. And really, I suppose I shouldn't just randomly get these guys killed for no particular reason. A bit silly. What? Oh, I forgot to give you order to not be retarded. I see. That complicates things. Oh, well, it's just the free guys dying as of yet, so... The mud was the greatest problem. By quite some margin as it rendered the French heavy horse not only significantly less effective than they should be, the enemy have but the also made it so that once they'd actually fallen the over, there was no getting back up again. And for all of his countless flaws, the English footman was more than adequately equipped for killing a man on the ground. Actually beginning to be more than a little worried about the state of the front gate here, seeing as the two initial units, I forgot to give them the stand ground order, and so they decided to be more than a little retarded. Only half the enemy force remains. Okay, I would like to just put you right there, but... Unfortunately, my tower will continuously shoot me as I do that. So we'll let them get a little bit of distance from the castle walls before we start chasing them down, making sure that they don't return. They've only got one ladder left. That must suck. How oh, can you not... Oh, you can't charge them because they're technically actually kind of not there. Okay, well, fair enough. All right, Ivanhoe. Not his actual name, but I like calling him that now after I was remembered of Ivanhoe from the, uh, the book series. And he does strike me as an Ivanhoe kind of type of guy, doesn't he? He really does. We're going to throw you into the enemy's rear. The hopes that this will frighten them. Unfortunately, uh, due to the difficulties of pathfinding a gate, you didn't decide to, you know, lower your weapons or anything. Which is problematic. I really would have preferred if you'd used your lances. Additionally, I don't seem to be able to actually get any support their way because the oh, if we oh continue there like we go this, maybe we will smash the enemy. There we go. Their morale is not doing so well anymore. Lovely. Now you may cancel guard mode. Now you may charge. Kill, kill. Ride 
And that is why you should have stayed home, stupid little pseudo-Vikings. You really should have gotten the message that Vikings are not really good at the whole siege warfare thing. Well, actually, we kind of were, in a way. I mean, we took Paris multiple times. That, that counts for something, right? I think so. I granted, Paris was, of course, guarded by the French, and you could certainly argue that that might reduce the achievement, but bear you in mind, the French actually used to be a byword for military excellence all the way up until, well, the Franco-Prussian War, in essence. And then, of course, came the First World War, which, uh didn't exactly do their reputation any favors. Although even then, the French held firm. They did the majority of the fighting. People give the British far too much credit during the, uh, during the First World War. British Expeditionary Corps was not very large. And its, you know, relative uh, share of the fighting was not that large either. that damn heart is in the way. I know exactly what you mean. You can click on the message itself to edit messages. I figured that out after a very long time of trying to look at the little three dots. Damn, there's more of you already? I was, I was kind of hoping for a momentary break there before you threw more shit at the wall. All right, no, that's slightly further north. Okay, good, good. Cowards! A suitable husband. They are getting older and older and older, aren't they? Jesus Christ. Okay, well. Erebor besiege for the 532nd of the time. I feel like being besieged is basically just a state of existence for Erebor at this point. Right. Oh, there is another army of you. Gosh. Darn it. There really is a fucking lot of you, isn't there? Right, hold on. Um, I think I can still hold the river, because I would prefer to hold the river, because the river is a little more effective. Okay. Both ballistas, obviously. Um... Oh, two guys. Oh, that was dangerous. Um. Yep, send those. Joining forces, my lord. That. Joining forces. Pike units. This pike unit's a little bit beat up, but both pike's units. Yes. Captain of there, that'll probably hold the river. Breland and the Goblins of Moria. Good. I hope you destroy every single little halfling home in existence. Ready your weapons. I respect you in battle. What about down here? Did you all just start streaming across the river? Yeah, pretty much. Right, I need to go for Tirithoros. The question is, do I have an army capable of defending Tirithoros if I go down there? Um, what I really would want is... Ah, I do have a unit of Gilead veterans. Perfect. We can go no further today. Get them underway Protect immediately. The all right, as for all of you then. Ready your weapons. I could turn around. But I, I don't have a defensive army ready. I was tempted to try and lunge to Minas Morgul, because there's... There's not a lot of shit in my way, but the problem is if I go for Minas Morgul now, I'm not going to have any defenders in Eastern Osgiliath, am I? Your will, my lord. I'm going to have a taste of my blade. Captain of Gondor. Right. 
Administrative nonsense time. What have we got? How many dudes are in a unit? There's 114 fountain oh, wait, guard in a unit. On. Which means I can get at least two full strength units. Maintain order. Yes. Awaiting I'm gonna command. have to say goodbye to both the Citadel Guard and the Wardens of the White Tower. As you wish. Maintain order. And the cavalry is pretty much spent. Yes. Protect the blood of Numenor. The archers. How many units in one of those? 152. Yeah, the archers Captain are pretty much spent too, honestly. As you ready your weapons. Yes, awaiting your command. So, what I'm left As with is boys for Boromir, Faramir, uh, two units of fountain guards and a couple of artillery pieces. Hmm. Yes. Not an army. Uh, what else have I got? I do have a couple of fully upgraded rangers. Nice. I've got... Yes. Merging armies, my lord. Six sword infantry. Joining forces, my lord. That's not bad. I wish I had horses. Awaiting I do not command. have horses. Mm, nor do I have the opportunity to really train any horses. Uh, I could get one unit of Peavis Galen cavalry. Protect the blood of Numenor. Awaiting your command. That will give me two. Two more units there. Protect the blood of Numenor. Leaving me three units short of a full stack. Not necessarily the worst odds if I throw in some fruits of the loin. Not necessarily the worst odds at all, actually. Yes, I think a lunge towards Minas Morgul might not be a terrible idea. I will not waste words on you. In the Man, meantime, I will not waste words on you. Of Let's see how this army does Don't against Varayegs. That is a nice piece of art. You know, I really wish we could explore the Southlands more. See, Units ah, damn. Rings of Power, right? Everyone knows Rings of Power was absolutely awful. It was. It was worse than awful. It was terrible. But largely that was because of the idea that they figured they needed to set it in some ancient age where they had no real information about and i'm sure there were marketing reasons for that i'm sure there were legal reasons for that because i'm pretty sure amazon doesn't actually i think they mentioned specifically that they they own like that portion of the book or something like that and nothing else so you know fair enough but instead of trying to make new heroes, which was never going to work out very well to begin with. It would have genuinely been rather interesting to see a story set in an area that we basically didn't explore previously. Like the, so the Southern Lands. Put it as a kind of a resistance story almost, right? Where you go down to the Southlands and... Oh god, I'm not going to have any... I have much in the way of spears on the flanks, am I? That is gonna kinda suck. And you try to explore what exactly the people are doing down there. Are all of them just, you know, Sauron's puppets? Is this like a cultural thing? Do they all just bow down to him because they don't have a choice? Do they think they have an option? Are there people who resist Sauron? Is resisting Sauron at all possible? Is it caused almost exclusively by, like, enmity? Because the the Southlands, as far as I'm aware, or the Haradrim, etc., really hate Gondor. Like, really, really, really hate Gondor. Uh, after many, many, many conflicts with Gondor in the past. So do they view Sauron perhaps as a ally of convenience? Do they understand that he's bad? Do they... You know, do they think that they won't be next? 
Okay, catapults. You're gonna be. Uh, you're fine, shoot. Uh, are you gonna be retarded? Because those are probably gonna stop. Yes, they are. Thank you. Because I knew they were gonna stop, but uh, apparently the uh, retarded. Oh, fucking. Okay, why are you shooting so incredibly low? Okay, don't use flaming missiles then. There you go. Like, you gotta shoot a little bit high to actually get up those boys. Because you could do easily do so much fun stuff with that. You really, really could. Right, are you at least hitting them now? Um, yes, to some extent. Okay, well... Hitting them somewhat, I suppose, is better than, better than not hitting them at all. Alright, lads, clench your fucking teeth. This is gonna suck. The battle is very much in our favor. Victory nope. will be Double ours. time, Tards. Double time! I see. Okay, good, good. And surround those. So you may shoot at the arrow guys. Uh, rest of you, all concentrate fire on the general's bodyguard. I doubt he'll be able to kill the general, but he will beat the shit out of his unit of mobile fucking ballistas, which is uh, most of what I'm asking for out of you. God, even rear-charging the Varia glances, I lose a <laughs> Holy shit. The, the, oh god, the Varia fucking cavalry are such utter monsters. Rear-charging them with two units engaging them from the front, I still lose half of my heaviest available cavalry. Sweet baby fucking Jesus. Keep chasing those down. Keep on them. Don't let them rally. Same with those Varia glances, please. Front line is holding quite well. The Warlord's Catapracti are getting beat to shit, which is what I like to see. A little bit further out there, boys. Come on. Fly onto the enemy's flanks, please. Okay, you are chasing those down. Good. There's like one of them left. What about you? Ah, uh, there he is. There he is. The warlord's the only one left standing. Here we go. Without him, his troops will lose their will to fight. Stood and fought a little bit too long, buddy. A little bit too long. And the heavy infantry front line is holding up excellently against the enemy's heavy infantry. That's the true beauty of Gondor. It's heavy footmen. Its cavalry may be absolute, unironic, utter garbage. The badly bloodied. They have lost half their men. But they're foot soldiers. That is a different tale entirely, thank heavens. Temple Wardens, how the... 
fuck did you get access to those? And ironically, how the fuck did you get access to those? Temple Wardens should be... I mean, hmm, that's weird. Well, I guess the mod gives them access to them, but Temple Wardens. See, Temple Wardens are the, the Wardens of the Temple of Murkai, like in, in ancient times. I really don't feel like these guys should even know about that, much less have access to, you know, the Templars of the Temple, but okay. Hmm. Weird. What are you being shot at by? What are you being shot at by? Oh, of course. Enemies should be pretty much surrounded. Yep, they are fighting to the death. Well, at least I've got them fighting most of the general's bodyguards. The damage they'll do be, will be somewhat limited. Hmm, Temple Wardens indeed. Subject Noble, Arch, who's Gaia? Pegged, Dev, or Breeded Kibs? Hmm. Well, I mean, Kibbs has publicly declared that he is a woman, so... I suppose by Kibbs' own admission, breeding Kibbs would not be gay? But Dev being pegged... There is definitely something quite gay with that. I don't think there's any doubt. There's there's definitely something quite gay with about that. Something expressly and intimately gay on a whole other level. So I've got to say, Peg Dev is gayer. Even though that is not an easy question by any stretch of the imagination. I somehow don't expect these guys to ever break and run. Cycle charge. Back out again. And back in again. Back out again. Any of them left? The enemy army flees the field. There we Pursue are. and run them down. This is a clear victory! 257 dudes lost? Not too bad. Kivas gained a 33k following by promising cheeks. <laughs> he did! To Indian bot farms at that. Ah, oh, Kivas got very, very, very unlucky. Very, very unlucky. Very unlucky. Very, very, very unlucky. One should sympathize with Kib, even if one should not necessarily understand or care for the Kib. One should at least offer him some base level of sympathetic head pats every now and again. The blood of Numenor. As uh, Kib was using the uh, YouTube promotion system, which seemed like a cool idea, right? Okay, you give uh, YouTube a few bucks. Well, not a few bucks. YouTube is greedy in the shit. And in return, they would uh, promote your videos. Now, what exactly that means is... Approaching oh, that's, nobody actually knows. But he decided to try that and see if it worked, right? Now, why not? Why not? Maybe it works, and maybe in that case is great. So he did it, and it seemed to work amazingly well. It seemed to work incredibly well, and he's he skyrocketed in subscribers. Wow, this, this is fantastic. But... It didn't seem to have any actual tangential effect, like no more views, no more people in the stream. And this continued for quite some time, until we realized that he'd somehow managed to happen across a bot farm who were now following him. I don't know, no error of his own, mind you, because he had no idea what he was doing. I had no idea what I was doing. I've done some um, promotions as well. They're mostly garbage, honestly. The, the promotions are exceptionally hit and miss. 
Um, I've had some that were relatively successful. I've had others that did absolutely nothing. So it's complete hit and miss. Not to mention, it's... It's a, it's a certain sucky feeling in and of itself, the entire idea that here you are paying YouTube like a hundred bucks to promote your videos. It kind of feels like YouTube. Isn't that the algorithm's job? <laughs> isn't, isn't promoting my videos the entire reason why I give you 33% of the ad revenue? I, I thought this was supposed to be like what, what you did rather than something you needed to be bribed to do. Well, you know, uh, ad revenue is on the decline, I've heard, so uh, YouTube needed to come up with something a bit more innovative, and that was one of them. The problem is, logically speaking as well, and here's the real kicker, right? There are people who charge for bot followers. In fact, it's a thriving business in quite a few areas, unfortunately enough. So what are these people going to do? How are they going to program their bots? Well, uh, the bots obviously will like to be picked up in the algorithm so that they don't get seen as fake subscribers. Because if they get seen as fake subscribers, they can actually purge out of the system relatively frequently. So what are you going to do? Well, you've got to make the bot look like the bot's a real person. How do you do that? Well, you have it spread itself around. That's how you do that. Because once the bot seems to be engaging with lots of things, then not only does it appear to be a person, but better yet, it appears to be a person who is weirdly, really, really interested in all of Google's promotions. Wow. That's very convenient, isn't it? So here it, the bot is pretending to be someone who is actually like picking up on all of the stuff Google is putting down and clicking on all of their stuff. And so Google goes, yay, this person really likes me. I'm, I'm going to, I'm going to follow, I'm going to keep up with this guy and make sure he sees all of my promotions because he's totally into my stuff. Ships and so this becomes an evil circle where the bots are constantly fed by Google's algorithm, even as the bots themselves feed on Google's algorithm. Um, yeah. It's a uh, more than mildly retarded system, but it directly benefits Google to not fix it because on the back end, it looks like algorithmic engagement, right? Whenever somebody looks at YouTube and goes, I wonder if I should uh, put my ads on this, YouTube can go, look at all the hits we have. Look at all of these, these loyal followers we have that always click on our promotions. And the company will go, wow, that's incredible. <laughs> So, uh, yeah, uh, YouTube has no real incentive to fix it, so... Mm. The enemy is engaging our fleet. That is actually fine, because that is one of the individual little general navies, and I kind of want those to retreat. die, honestly. You can't you unassign no admirals, further. which is uh, very retarded, us. and so I literally can't get rid of the some of my fleets, which fleet. is uh, problematic. The battle is lost! <clears throat> We can go no further. <laughs> this is a you have two cows level of self-destructive. <laughs> well, it kind of is, because the problem with bot followers is, of course, that they aren't actually giving any value to your platform. So by allowing them to stay and even indeed encouraging them as Google does, it does do damage to Google, both in the long, very much in the long term, but even in the short term. Because, of course, the, um, the advertisers might now look at their returns and go, hold on there, YouTube. Our foes appear to be gaining the upper You hand promised us battle. like so and so many uh, unique returns. You're like that, that's why that's why we put put our money in you. And yet we're only getting like a fraction of the engagement you claimed was like normal on your platform. Uh, what gives, Utubs? Let's go. And uh, Utubs doesn't really have a doesn't really have a response to that. Now this is going to be funny. That's a that's a very large. <laughs> That's a very large army of a lot of mounted dudes out there. You own... Oh, you have a... F well, I hate that. I wish you didn't have those. That means you could actually make a hole in my wall over there. Ah, oh, that sucks. That really sucks. Hmm. 
Okay, well... You guys... You will stop the Varayeg, I think. Um, how do I stop their ladders? I don't need to worry about that so much, but I do need to worry about that. I'll put those guys up there. They'll deal with that. I think that'll be shot to pieces. And if it doesn't, I'll put these guys up there to kind of mess with it. Which leaves... Basically, you guys to hold them off. Um, okay, make sure you tag all of the towers, at least. So we can properly shoot at them. Is this... Oh, my God. Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Can I... I can't. I can't. I was about to say, this looks like the most amazing ballista defense city in human history, right? Because that's a, that's a nice, long, straight shot down there, but I... I can't... Okay, I can... I can probably deploy them? Interesting. Okay, hold on now. Alright, so you guys. What am I going to do with you guys? Good question. Um, for now, just go over there. Where are those ballista towers? They are. Brilliant. Okay. If I tell you to go over there, will you do so correctly? Probably. Okay. If I tell you to go over here. Alright. And then we put... Pikeman... Pikeman. Pikeman and a little, little cap unit. That will be an, an interesting experiment, if nothing else. You within range? You are. Brilliant. I kind of hope I don't destroy the ram. I wish I could tell everybody to focus on the siege tower, because I'd like the siege tower to die, but I want the ram to come up and actually make a hole. Because if the ram comes up and makes a hole, then all of their cavalry will run into our my beautiful little sharpened spikes, and they'll be very, very sad. And then they'll all be dead, and I'll be very, very happy. The White City will prevail for the glory of Gondor. So, can you actually throw from up here, or are you too stupid? No, you can. Good boys. I continue to be disappointed by the effectiveness of your javelins, but that is a separate matter. Our enemy's ladders have reached our walls. It's time for butcher's work. That is an interesting formation you have adopted there, but not, I believe, a phalanx formation, which is... What well, I'm relatively sure I ordered you to adapt. Thirty-six, thirty-nine. It will probably be destroyed. The enemy down the gates. The enemy siege tower has reached our walls. Right, what about over here? Anything going on? Nope, oh, you're just wandering around getting your shit kicked in. This is good, and you have done basically no damage to anything. Lovely. Little closer, boys, little closer. You can go a little bit further back. Come on, on top of each other, directly on top of each other. Let's get that double wall of pikes up and running. Oh, I can't wait for them to get through. The enemy's ram has breached the enemy's siege tower. Yes, 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 yes. Kindling now. Beware, lest they try some other trick. Lest they try some other. Gay Varangarian Varungian trickery. Come, little horsies, come meet your doom. Well, 
you're not little horses. But I count on that the horses will follow. To our defense, or all will be lost. Yes, yes, come little horses, come! Oh, look at that. Oh, look at that. Oh, look at that. Enemy general dead. Oh, another one. Target the bowman there at the rear. That should be a decent target. Uh, bowman. Not those. Step archers. Ah, good. Aw. What a tragedy. They're still dying. There goes another general. Well, isn't that just horrific? How could this possibly get any worse for the poor Fariogs? Oh, I know. Come on, boys. It's shish kebab time. It's time to make their evening somehow Only even worse. Force and then it was a very, very bad day to be Chinese. Let's pray it remains as such. I might end up destroying my own gatehouse at this rate. Men of Gondor. Ah, I do like spikes. I truly do love spikes. They're pretty great. Right, Gondorian veterans. Sadly, you don't get any kills for that. Uh, otherwise, I think you would have leveled like three times already. So get up on the walls and uh, put in an honest day's work, I suppose. I am actually going to destroy my own wall house like this, so... There we go. Those are more accurate. What a terrible, terrible day to be Chinese. Oh, you're coming back for more, are you? Good. I'm sure the spikes will have been adequately destroyed by now. Yes, hurry your horses. Come now. Come now. Actually, has anyone seen the, um, that insane little movie? Um, what was it called? The Great War was? Ah, good. You'd think they'd have learned their lesson the first time, but you would be incorrect. The battle is very much in our favor. I'd Victory say so. Oh, no! And they just keep coming. Uh, the one with fantasy bullshit and monsters? Yes, it was all right. Yes, that one. The one with fantasy monsters and the bullshit. I actually quite enjoyed that movie. I mean, yes, it's patently retarded. So basically, the premise of the movie is the Chinese built the Great Wall of China not to keep the Mongolians out, but to keep a, a spaceship out. So basically, knock off Tyranids, you know, the 5,000th alien species that are actually just insects, you know, you know the classics, uh, landed on Earth in Mongolia and started invading China. And so the Chinkywinkies thought to themselves, okay, well, how are we going to stop this literally endless threat that just kind of keeps coming forever and ever and ever? We'll build a wall and we'll install lots of, like, bullshit on it, like laser guns and shit. Because, you know, the Chinese knew how, um, how to focus light to the point of lasers, of course. Na natürlich, right? Yes, even on foot, it is a bad day to be Chinese. And it's actually a pretty good little action movie. Um, the acting is not amazing. Um, the, the entire plot is patently absurd. But just as like a kind of like a kung fu action flick, entirely serviceable. Half their men. 
And that's all the game has to say about that. The only downside with this strategy is that it does... It, it does actually not give me a whole lot of veterancy. I, I will say that much. It doesn't give me as much veterancy as it could give me. AI will nullify the spikes by kabooming so many horses on them that no more will fit. Well, here's the thing. My spikes are actually self-cleaning. Yeah, they're, they're self-cleaning technology somehow. So no matter how many uh, many horses you kaboob onto them, it just ain't gonna do anything. The, the spikes will just clean off the horses by pulling them off themselves. Shish kebab style. Sing me the song of your people, Variag. Sing me the song of your people. <laughs> I like how if I move my camera, they calm down a little bit. But the moment I stop... Alright, um... Hello, little spearman. Can you hear the hala hala from the other side of the wall? No? Okay, good. I'll let me just hang out with you for a moment then until the final few enemies decide to finally flee. Ah... Uh... <laughs> Please stop. <laughs> Uh, old school total war bug. Basically, the AI is trying to find a way forward. Uh, the AI's passing, pathing is stuck somewhere. And so the AI tries to fix the problem that its pathing is stuck somewhere by giving orders. Because it's like, okay, you should go over there. And then the unit goes like, I can't go over there. And instead of going, well, why can't you go over there? The AI goes, no, go over there. But this conversation is played out about 1,000 times per milliseconds, and thus the, you know, acknowledgments. You know, it's basically this, except Behold if I was to hammer the mouse button. Vanquished. This is a great victory worthy of only the mightiest of j We're the only of the mightiest of generals. The devastating technology that is sharpened stakes. No, do not. A wise and fair choice, to be sure. I almost feel bad for them. Yeah. Oh. You run out of money again? Ah. Oh. I might need to cheat the AI some more cash so I can get, uh. So I can get, um. Um. Hey, a young guy! Western... Hello? Western Moria besieged, really? Really? By who? Hmm. Incidentally, you might be wondering why we haven't seen any more of the Black Newman audience. Ah, that's because they're fucking dead. The, uh, the Black Newman audience, who are located down here, uh, decided to send everything in an effort to conquer Dol Amroth. And being now the illegitimate owner of Dol, Dol Amroth, and knowing just how much effing money there is in this place, I can sympathize. I can definitely sympathize. But, here's the problem. Uh, do you get an armor upgrade, actually? I don't think you do, which is... Mildly annoying. Uh... Do you? Because your missile attack is not good, but it's... It's serviceable in extremes. Hmm. 
Anyways, they decide to send everything towards me, which is a thing that does tend to happen quite frequently, fairly enough. But uh, by sending everything towards me, they didn't send anything towards the Southerners, who decided to start invading them en masse and being very, 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 very mean to them, eventually wiping them off the map, which I'm entirely fine with, actually. Don't have a Ships problem ready. with it, and that means that I won't be invaded anymore, and I am quite pleased to not be invaded anymore, as that is one front line that I may now finally at long last ignore. Maintain order. Was I building something over here that I was supposed to send over there? I feel like I was, Captain but at the same God time, God. I can't remember what that could conceivably have been. God, more I, respect of you. You in battle. Ready your I wonder if this army will be enough to bash through all of this Variag nonsense to get all the way over there. Ah. The goblins of Moria and Breland have, uh, <laughs> have, have agreed to a ceasefire. I see. Those must have been some interesting negotiations. Ha. <laughs> How did that come to pass, precisely, I wonder? Like, who... who offered to begin the negotiations? The goblins? Do, do the goblins even know what negotiations are? Do they... Like, do they understand the meaning of the word? Do they have the linguistical capability to be like, Hey, stop throwing rocks at us. Is, is that a thing they're capable of? I mean, apparently, it seems. You. As you wish. Retrain my rangers, please. I require them. Hail and hearthy for the fights to come. Or was it the the uh, the hobbits that somehow figured out what the goblin word for negotiations was? The goblin word for parley. Oh, somehow, I I don't really feel like the goblins would have a word for parley. Then again, technically, I guess. It will be an honor defeating you. I will You've started going you over there, haven't you? You have, you little shit. I was kind of hoping that you wouldn't learn about that ford. My lord, approaching. I respect you, my enemy. Hmm. One more turn, and that's a stronghold, and probably going to be a hell of a lot more. Difficult order. for them to break into. Speaking of break into, where did that new old guy appear? Oh no, he was he was actually old, he was kinda of young. Where are you? There you are, fresh new little governor of mine. Awaiting your Congratulations, mind. born Nivon. Consider yourself conscripted to the Great Southern Expeditionary Army. Where you will be uh our mistress. Oh good. Oh, where were you? Oh, there you are. Maintain order. Where you will be expected to guard Let the southern borders of Gondor against an endless invasion of Chinese people. Protect the blood of Numenor. Maintain order. Orders. Yes. We'll ready your weapons. Forward. Let us set up camp here. Yeah, that looks like a fine enough defensive army to me. Let us set up camp here. Should be able to hold the Tirithros. Just as well as these guys are holding Ostihill. I see you scratched my walls for some reason. Uh, why can I retrain you here? Uh, do you have the next level armor upgrade? Chainmail. Do you need chainmail? Very long spears. Well, that's not, not true. But I also feel like calling a pike a very long spear is sort of missing the point in a way. By your command. Yeah, yeah, missing the piano. Yeah, well, that is pretty much exactly what I think. Yes. Ah, you can't exist. Isn't it? As you wish. Right. That was some very action-packed oh. turns as we continue the long war, but I'm actually quite happy with the current position of everything. Everything has stabilized significantly. 
To the point where now I can seriously start considering getting an army going into Enidwith an territory again. You. And trying to deal with Be their done. veteran generals and hopefully getting to Isengard before Sauraban gets out of control. But now Awaiting I have a desperate urge to go eat something. So until next time, chat. Thank you very much for watching. Thank you for your generous donations, as always. And we'll be doing more MLP Hearts of Iron tomorrow, because that mod was a lot of fun. I, I really enjoy that mod, weirdly enough. And uh, remember, if you want to give donations to Arch, you can also give a donation and receive something in return. Imagine that. It's like capitalism or something, where you can give me a thing and I give you a thing in return. They're very good shirts. I have one. They are very high quality, and I do recommend them. Plus, the lesson of gatekeeping cannot be spread often and vehemently enough. They're selling quite well, too, so you have a limited amount of time to get them, as this is a limited set of t-shirts. Have a good night, chat.